A Central Park Karen comes back after three years since this incident you're seeing right here happened and to come and make claims about the same thing. Like how much must it have taken for her to hold on to it until it was three years? Because we're thinking somebody might have changed by the time it was three years over. Anyway, in this park, she said she that have a black man who is a bad watcher, something very innocent, um, threatened her life. Because apparently her dog was on the loose, like the dog was loose. So he was trying to ask her to keep that dog in check, if you understand what I mean. But she blew everything out of proportion. If this man did not take this video, the worst could have happened. Let me run this clip and I'm going to be back. I'm asking you to stop. Please don't come close to me. Sir, I'm asking you to stop recording me. Please don't come close to me. Please take your phone off. Please don't come close to me. I'm taking pictures of calling the cops. Please, please call the cops. Please call the cops. I'm going to tell them there's an African-American man threatening my life. Please tell them whatever you like. There is an African-American man. I am in Central Park. He is recording me and threatening myself and my dog. <laughs> I'm being threatened by a man in the ramble. Please tell the cops immediately. You can clearly see that Karen is the one who's trying to put up a whole tantrum kind of situation and just blow it out of proportion. You can hear it that this man was trying to be as calm as possible. And if this video was not taken, like I mentioned before, this man would have been in a very bad situation because she is weaponizing her tears and not only that, weaponizing her, her supremacy in this situation. They always do this, these caring. And for whatever reason, if you do not have any evidence, it always works for them. Pam color cops pull up and you're done. This Karen's name is Amy Cooper and the man who's trying to defend himself is Christian Cooper. Now, that's quite ironic. They have the same surname. I don't know if I can put anything to it. Now, Newsweek published an editorial in which Amy Cooper doubled down on claims she made three years ago which were that she was threatened in Central Park by a black um, bed watcher, as we have heard and seen. She also blamed the public shaming that she experienced with Christian Cooper. And a bio about her on Newsweek reads, Amy Cooper, a loving daughter, friend, dog mom, and volunteer for women of abuse, currently resides in an undisclosed location after being at the center of a media firestorm after being dubbed the Central Park Curry. I was scared, said Cooper, of her encounter with the bed watcher who became upset that she had a dog off the leash. A man yelling at me and threatening me. Da -da -da -da. But in her opinion piece, Amy Cooper complained the bed watcher she called the cops on hadn't been open to an honest productive conversation with her karen 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 they are always like this you guys weaponizing this and that like i mentioned at the beginning of this video i'm looking at her statement that she did she hadn't had an open conversation with this guy and it seems that that's what she wanted i'm wondering in this situation a bed watcher a bed watcher and you uh you know with your dog and etc how the whole situation has been explained i don't know how you want to have an open conversation what is that really She's literally accepting to whatever happened that she was in the wrong, low-key, and we can hear it in our words, you guys, we can hear it. But Karen, for internet's sake, we expected you to come back different. In fact, never to come back, never to return with this kind of issue that happened three years ago. You must carry a lot of mm, H-A-T-E to, you know, keep and hold on to this, and then you come back. And Newsweek, what are you doing? What are you doing? And did you just say uh, women of A-B-U-S-E? What? She is the ab herself. Look at how she's just coming on to this man. Oh my God. So I don't know how she's putting herself in this notion of how she, you know, helps these women that have been talked about in this situation. Guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Have you had any interaction or encounter with a Karen? What happened to you? I'd like to know, so make sure you guys comment below.